Hey everybody, I want to film another video today and talk about how to control the audio volume through a script in Unity. And if you guys watched some of the videos I put up a few days ago, we're talking about working with the audio via a script in Unity, and kind of how to do a lot of this stuff here, because I feel like a lot of times as developers, as coders, we focus a lot on the game elements and the visual stuff here, but really adding in sound effects and adding in different audio cues are what's going to take your game to the next level. So if you guys did not see my videos before, the videos I put up a few days ago, Basically what we have right now is we have an audio source here, and if we hit space it plays, if we hit stop again it, it stops the sound here. So just as a quick demo, I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And if I hit play, right, you should be able to hear that, I hope that's coming through. But what if I wanted to adjust the volume? Maybe I didn't want to be as loud or as quiet in game here, I want to be able to control that with the script from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my script from here. And again, this script is attached to Game Manager. Actually, it's a, yeah, it's attached to Game Manager in Scene here. So what I'm going to do on the update, what I'll do is I'll put in another if input dot get key down, get key down, key code, and let's use a, I don't know, let's use a W key from here. You know, let's use um. Yeah, the W will work for right now. You know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Usually W is for movement. We'll use W right now just for the volume. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll use W for right now. Let's make it actually Q. I think Q might make a little more sense here. So just as a test here, let's say debug.log. I want to say Q. Just to make sure this is working from here. So again, on the update method, all that I'm doing is input.getKeyDown. Uh, I should say if input.getKeyDown, key code Q. And if we hit Q, we're going to print out Q from there back to my game and then we hit Q uh, if we look up the console here we hit Q we can see that's being printed properly from there now you notice because we did get key get key code down here if I hold in the Q of course you can't see it here it's only being called one time then. and that's what we want for right now okay so now back to my script here. Actually, let's go ahead and pause this. So I'm being a little sporadic here, moving it back and forth here. What I want to do instead here, since I already have a reference to the audio source here, I'm going to say audio source dot volume. And we're going to set this equal to 0.5F. And we'll see that the volume slider will just about be about half the volume that was before. Okay. And let's go ahead and hit play. Now, I'm not going to play the volume right away here. I'm just going to adjust the sound, and then I'll play it here. So we have one here. If I hit Q, we can see it drops down to 0.5. And now if I hit space, hopefully you should hear a difference in volume from there. All right? So I hope that makes sense. Again, the main component that we're looking for here is this audio source dot volume, and we're going to set this equal to somewhere between 0 and 1. And the reason between 0 and 1 here is because that's what my slider is over here, right? We're looking for some type of float value from there, all right? Now, that makes, oh, excuse me, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you guys like this, in the next video, I'm going to make a uh, graphical element in scene here that the user can control a slider, and that way they can control the volume maybe for a background track or something like that. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next video.